Good evening, welcome to the Movie Club Podcast. This week we'll be talking about Paramount Plus's original movie, Infinite. Was it yours? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm mad. What you think? Jesus! Every time you say, I don't know, this trigger gets pulled. Is it yours? Look, I don't know. Are you out of your mind? So yeah, Infinite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right so i i've already seen this right i've already watched this movie and honestly i'm gonna i'm just gonna say up front right now um i am taking into the fact into the into accord the fact that i am kind of sleepy right now because <laughs> i'm still even yeah, though you are sleepy as hell. even though unemployed i'm still getting up at 7 a.m for some reason so Oof. now i'm just like it's good this is my bedtime, and we watching movies. I'm, <laughs> I'm an old man, so I'm kind of upset with it. You got to wait till fall and winter when the sun goes down faster. We can watch movies earlier. You know what I mean? And now double features. Summer is like, nah, but, double features gets into a sleepy time again. See? <laughs> Plus, Shakisa's outlawed double features. You know? He outlawed it? He that's outlawed because, it. That's because we get into my... The second movie will suffer, in my opinion, no matter what, because I'm sleepy halfway through, at least halfway through. So it's like a normal drive-in double feature experience. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> I haven't done that before. I haven't yeah, he done don't go before. outside. He don't know what that means. Drive-ins were kind of dead by the time I was a thing. And Still, we didn't really go, go to outside. The outside. Excuse me. I've like gone that. to several drive-in movies. Congratulations. I have not <laughs> gone to any. My mom did not have time. Oh, oh my dad made time. No family <laughs> drive-in. Dang, that's, that's money. Plus car. Plus enclosed space with children. <laughs> that ain't how we roll around right? <laughs> I've only gone to drive-ins with my dad. I've only gone with friends. <laughs> That have dragged me out there. Anyway, now we're not talking Sorry. about the driving. See, I'm so sleepy. I'm doing. We, we, yeah, we just got into driving. our past lives. So but the, oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to have a joke to follow up. This is gonna be bad. I'm just telling you right now, it's gonna be bad. I'm half asleep. Anyway, no, but so I've already seen this movie. I'm kind of sleepy, so it's kind of affecting my thoughts about this film. So I'm going to let somebody else go first and talk about what they think about this because I. And in part, uh, don't rock papers and shake us go. I'm only I'm saying you. I'm saying you because I can already guess hers because she was vocally excited through most of this movie. So, but you, I honestly don't know how you. You're feel the wild card because you sounded like you were exasperated through most of it. Where it was like can confirm. Ah. Like, really? like this is dragging uh, on. It really didn't sound like that. That how it felt. It sound, that's how we felt. You felt, honey. When I moved to the floor, I could just feel your body going. Ugh. Like it, no, vocally, you said these words. I could hear. I could spell the uh. It was just a I cloud was over a your body. What? Like I, did, I gave two what's that movie. No, no, man. this isn't even the uh. It wasn't what's. like a, it wasn't like a vocal like what was like, it? Ugh. It was a sound effect, and <laughs> I could see the vocalized sound effect in the air. So I'm I'm so curious as to how you feel about this. Wow, y'all have tainted my memory of my own experience. Y'all have gotten into my memories. Um, I I enjoy this movie for what it is. Right. Okay. So this movie is probably a really interesting concept to me personally like i like the idea i like how they developed it i'm more interested in whatever source material this is from so i have the answer to that if you want to know now or you want to continue your thought go ahead actually go, drum go, roll go ahead Damn, you should have continued. <laughs> 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 like, I, I have the answer. I, I, I have it, it somewhere. It is based off of D. Eric Minecranz's 2009 novel, The Reincarnation Reincarnationist Papers. I would have sound so much smarter have if I, I wasn't. But yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have my little. If I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have to go ahead and purchase that because i really like this concept i want to see how because the movie is something that has a time limit and a lot of things i feel like get skated over um which is just to be expected of anything and i had a feeling this came from a book mm -hmm. rather than like a comic book series which is where i was hoping it would come from mm. um 
because of how they kind of just like he just kind of is like staunchly opposed to this idea mm-hmm. of joining uh and and i happen to glance some of the the wikipedia stuff in here is like it felt like wanted meets the matrix and i felt the wanted part like a whole whole lot mm-hmm. like i really <laughs> felt like i was like man this is wanted again <laughs> and they got a Morgan Freeman nigga, Trewardo Edgifer, <laughs> whose name I will never get right. I'm sorry, dude. You really do deserve more than this of what I can pronounce because <laughs> you really, you really killed it in this role. He's like, the- I'm not doing this on purpose. I swear to God, I respect you so much. Like I do. You, you are a great actor, and the the I feel like I don't know Trey. Trey might be more in tune with this, but I feel like the the accent that I heard in Lockdown never came out, and I feel like you're a British nigga, so like I don't. I don't nah, think so. he mad sounded with like West African or something like that. In I don't it. even know what he was going for, but like, it, whatever it was, I it like worked. It. Like, <laughs> whatever, whatever, you could have invented a whole new accent. I'm with it. Like with it, it. it worked. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, I think he did all right in this movie. Like I think there's a lot of Mark Wahlberg movies that I've seen where he's like in like sort of like PG or PG 13 movies. Like I think he was. Was it him that was in Ted? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's Marky Mark. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I'm more used to like that side of Mark Wahlberg. I feel like, I feel like he did all right in this movie. I don't, I don't really know if I have action Mark Wahlberg on me, um, or in my memory banks. I didn't really think about it while I was watching this movie. Anyway, I don't know if we watched this movie together or not. Um, it's one of it's, I like it. It's one of my fa- It's not one of my favorites. It's one of the Denzel Washington takes a white guy and then has fun with them type movies. Uh, two guns. We haven't seen that. Okay. Together. Okay. Um. Then that's the only one I would think that you would have. Wait, the other guys? Him and Will Ferrell? No. You haven't seen eight? No, no, not yet. <laughs> Crazy. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, just add it to the list. But like, there's there's the part where he just kind of joins this group. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna keep on going. I, I was, but then like you both were just like quiet as hell. So I was like, let me let them laugh first, because it was coming. It was insert laughter. It would we wouldn't laugh that loud if you had stopped. <laughs> that just gave truth. us free open range. You really did. I call it a self fulfilling prophecy. Um, and then there's like them trying to like get his memory back so i felt like i missed something like i felt like as part of like the story or like the progression of the story i felt like i missed something how so uh it just it seems like it was going really fast like the pacing like they just kind of did like felt like a montage of events Mm -hmm. instead of like a series of events that were actually happening in real time you know it's funny um, it was it was well it was a montage that yeah. that definitely mm-hmm. was a was a montage, but it also kind of falls in line with see I've been I've been if y'all you know you've seen the I don't even, I ain't even gonna say it because I probably didn't upload the video by the time <laughs> this comes out I'm not even gonna jinx myself <laughs> on it. but I've been reading Blake Snyder's uh save the cat and within it it's a it's kind of a new way to break down the three act structure into like fifteen parts to All make right. it more uh, detailed. Uh, tomato tomato <laughs> um and one of those is called fun and games where it's just kind of like the hero and the, the people they fuck around pretty much cat and mouse kind, kind of that yeah. kind of that um and that's kind of what it felt like here like it kind of just like went hand in hand with like the the blake snyder beat sheet as it were hmm. uh, at least at that part after still studied it some more because i'm not I'm a bad student. <laughs> Where was I at? Uh, you're talking about the montage, how the story felt kind of rushed. Yeah, it felt like, like kind of rushed. Like, fast. Yeah. like it felt fast there and then it felt kind of fast when they got to, I'm just going to call it the casino and met a uh, dude's name who's I've already forgotten. The artisan. Jason Mantozukas. But yes. The artisan. The, Ar- artisan. artisan the artisan <laughs> it's also past my bedtime <laughs> you're, you're gonna turn me into one of those guys excuse me it's artisan <laughs> it's, 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 really. it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is an endless debate infinite really um uh, yeah i did that just to get on trey's nerves um it worked <laughs> uh then they get there and things kind of go really fast as well there's the whole he has someone on the inside and it's it's very uh, subtle 
until it's not mm-hmm. and where he has the chick and then i'm like okay he's getting the feed of this but he's also getting audio of this whole thing where's the camera coming yeah, it from? doesn't they don't explain that it's they just kind of it's, it's kind of assumed it's almost like a shorthand yeah. almost it's like you see her you see him go oh uh, give her to not give uh him the nod and it's like he oh pulled, yeah let me he, pull out this he, damn no, no no let me not pull it out let me unfold this tablet really quick from yeah, like that's what I'm a saying. phone he pulled pull, like a goddamn uh like a police badge and shit <laughs> and I'm looking, let me spy on the good guys real quick and then as soon as i get the information i want you know, do that, do that on the big boss hand wave type do, shit. You know what I mean by you know. this? Like, no, but I, I understand what you're talking about. The way to hold the way because it, because it kind of feels like there are interesting things going on between the actual action stuff. sequences that we've seen a million times. Yeah, and then there, yeah. and then there's even before that where it really struck me that I felt like I forgot something is when uh, Bathurst Chordal mm-hmm. Edgy first shows up to basically hq for these dudes after uh deleting one of the infinite dudes and i'm just like okay he deleted this infinite guy he put him into the computer database with the other infinite people Mm -hmm. and he just knows where the base is and he just invades the base he he didn't get any information but he did or he knew the entire time where they were and just didn't invade them for another reason it Things seems like things seems like they were glossed over, and they know he's there, but we don't see them know that he's there. They're just in a different location, and it's just like, okay, did they do they like the whole scene? I'm like, do they know that their base has been invaded? And then they say he's at the compound. I'm like, okay, so you knew, but I didn't see any of this. Yeah, it just like they just skipped over it, and I. I feel like I get it because this is an action movie, but like I feel like the more interesting stuff wasn't even the action for me. It was the actual like the lore and the 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 history that these guys have supposedly had. I wanted to get what I wanted was some sort of Assassin's Creed type shit mm-hmm. where we see them fight in the past lives mm-hmm. or like their supposed friendship that we never see, mm-hmm. um, like happen or develop in some way, and then we come back to like present day. And do that. And they kind of started off that way, but mm-hmm. they kind of, they never really stay there long enough to really make it interesting. They go there to like show how it really affects present day directly instead of like a more interesting indirect way as well. I would have just liked a little more and I would have beefed the movie out another damn hour. <laughs> well, you know, cut out an action sequence or two. Maybe, maybe you know, one to make or two. Or one and room. a half. You know, maybe. Just yeah. a little bit. It wouldn't take a lot. Then yeah. there's the point where one of the chicks gets sniped and dies immediately and our main dude gets hurt as well and i'm just like i didn't see that either (laughs) he just two bullets for one i mean i know you're good you have a million hours or whatever but goddamn you're that good jesus christ honestly yeah she is like (laughs) yeah you see the way bathrooms just like snipe dude two both dudes hands with a crossbow like yeah yeah they that good i mean barely he's that good you know but like it's and she's his right hand you I know mean, what i mean so obviously by mm-hmm. osmosis she's ready to because that's how that works because <laughs> she got good you know and then there's the whole ending the entirety of the world and he figured out how to do that mm-hmm. but he couldn't make another one well cause because all didn't. his science he didn't guys do it. he was killed. the scientist that this, uh, he had the scientists make it and i'm just sitting here like okay that makes sense, right? Yeah. If you factor out the fact that these niggas can learn anything, they just literally have to remember it, which he apparently does from conception, mm-hmm. which is why he wants to fucking end all life. And then he could just learn and just make it every life. Like until they stop him, he could just kind of keep making eggs that will nuke the world. Maybe he life. just sucks at science. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> if he sucked at science, he sucked at science maybe 500 years ago. He's got, <laughs> he's had plenty of time to get good. At his, he knows what he ain't good at. I will, I will honestly say, I will honestly say, see, oh man, this is, this is one of those moments where I, I both agree with you and disagree with you at the same time. You know what I mean? Because I, I agree with you because the movie doesn't fucking say it. it and if the movie say doesn't it, say it, I have no evidence for it. Right. Um, unless you can prove it, but on the other hand, right, I'd say it's something to where Bathers around 300 years ago stopped believing in, in the progress, right? Mm-hmm. So whereas the believers side of the infinites, 
they believe in the progress and going forward and trying to use their ability to make mankind better, which right. also which also means that they're going to try to make themselves better, i.e. all the cool sci-fi technology and stuff like that, where the Bathers and his crew, every time you see them, it's always old style they're in an old church he's using old draconian methods uh, i guess waterboarding you yeah. know <laughs> it was just that draconian. Um, definitely to, on on himself in order to see god or whatever he's he decides that uh to use a crossbow instead of a sniper rifle because as he says new almost always isn't better right <laughs> um <laughs> So it, it would be somewhere out of his style in order to learn these new sciences, s- things that keep him from his goal of killing motherfuckers mm. and ending his own life. That's his mission. That's his objective. That is his whole way through the story is that yeah. he is about the old ways and then ending it all. Like he just wants to, he just wants to be close to God and not human stupidity. <laughs> So instead of him learning something else himself and just dragging down his brain even more, why not get a bunch of eggheads that you could just kill at when you're finished or, you know, they're going to die anyway and just make them do it because he's evil. Um, yeah. But that's again, it's not sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just I mean, I can I can agree with that. Why was he waterboard? I mean, he wants to waterboard and stuff to like get close to God. That's that's still weird to me. It's like a it's really weird old scene because I didn't even know it was him. And then I was like, "That's the main nigga. Why is he doing that?" Well, and then it, we see his face. I'm like, it, it reminds me of like uh, Christian Christians who like flog themselves in the back mm-hmm. with whips, Shame. right? Exactly. Yep. Shame. He feels ashamed of being, you know still here yeah mm. you know okay yeah, yeah. I, I actually do completely agree with that i agree with that and all that is through mr chihuahua edgy first performance it is really that good. is that is all all i am inferring is from chihuahua edgy because the movie don't all they, they tell him he's shit. the apex predator he's <laughs> <laughs> he a bad mother shut your mouth <laughs> he's top motherfucker of this planet right here. you know apparently what? which just which, learn more than this nigga begs another thing that that has me questioning in this movie is that is this a fight just between infinites and infinites I think it is. I think it's just a fight between infinites. And yet, we have a ninja theory going on here. Because it seems like all the infinites, even though even though we're we're on we're following the losing side, yeah. it would seem that the infinites that are on the antagonist side are all crap because they die at a split second. They they've lived all these lives but don't know how to jump out of bullet fire. <laughs> like all like this dude has like black ops, right? And they drop like flies constantly. Like flies. <sighs> they weren't taking notes in their past lives. Apparently not. Like they failed all the maybe, all the prereqs. I bet you they all everything. died through gunfire. Like he just, he just, <laughs> just continue. One, like, one dude's just like, dude, I do not want to get shot again. <laughs> <laughs> And like, dude, you live in a suburb. You've never been shot. I don't know about that. Like, <laughs> I had this deathly fear of being shot right well, no, they, here. They all remember, right? Yeah, like this. Like some people like remember faster than others. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, there has to be some people who don't remember everything, right? Mm-hmm. Ev- the guys like who our remember, main guy, like Toronto Edgifer and right. and and uh, Mark Wahlberg. They're kind of like our new type guys, yeah. except Mark Wahlberg kind of kept trying to kill himself because he was so confused about everything that was going on so mm-hmm. he kind of weakened himself mm-hmm. and then you know got good again because you know he's a new type of new it character. was literally the movie version of abilities like in a video game when you start off the video game you got all these powers and stuff like that oh. then you got knocked out you got to go get them one by one. Oh man it was literally was the so movie strong. version and now i'm level one and i gotta get back up again i gotta i gotta upgrade this tree <laughs> to stand on a plane <laughs> When resistance doesn't affect you. <laughs> yeah. Then, and, and you know, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm shitting on this movie a lot because I'm, I'm just pointing out all the moments where I just really don't understand or didn't like what they were doing. Mm-hmm. But this, all the, <sighs> that we heard. Yeah, no, we got you, we got you. I don't even know when, like, I'm all start filming time. myself watching this movie. It's okay. Uh, but there's the, there's a scene where he stands on the plane while it's supposedly crashing mm-hmm. for like 10 minutes. And 
he he does he does the thing that he did at the beginning of the movie mm-hmm. where he did a badass thing and launched himself out of a fucking car onto a fucking platform mm-hmm. structure thing so badass <laughs> with just a sword like that was while also in excruciating pain Mm -hmm. uh that was badass as fuck by the way like oh yeah like all the the fucking car chase scenes like all those were fucking amazing like like all amazing that 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 few minutes in the beginning and in some of the flashback scenes with dylan o'brien is way more exciting than him an american assassin or whatever that movie is called i'm gonna (laughs) shit on that movie until the day i die it was so boring do better, Dylan. He's actually doing better. I need to leave him alone. <laughs> but like, I want to see more of that. Yeah. Not just in like it. I mean, like he did it, mm-hmm. but it doesn't really mean anything. It's like he doesn't get flung off of the plane. That's cool for actiony shit. Mm-hmm. But like in a regular action movie, it wouldn't mean anything anyway. So it kind of doesn't feel like it means anything in this movie either. Mm-hmm. And then he doesn't really like. Get that like I wanted to see him kind of like Neo this shit. Ergo, the Matrix part where he just kind of starts using it more and more to like sort where of he beat, becomes the one where he like beats Bathurst like a lot more using that specifically. Mm-hmm. And then my in my vision, there's intersplicing scenes of them fighting in the past where he gets the better end of them and shit. But you, you know. want Kakashi and Obito? May, yeah, maybe I do. You <laughs> maybe I do. Kakashi and Obito maybe I right do. Now. Maybe I only need sixty seconds of that. And honestly, in a in a in an American movie with these two, yeah, I got to be fire. Like that also like, be. This is the movie. If any movie you were gonna do that in, this actually would have been the this movie. This was the one, and it's like, like man. not. But you could have took it so much further, though. Yeah, you could have you really took it could've. so much further because it wouldn't just be them as children. No, it would be them, them through time. Them through time. Them as children in this one lifetime. Them as adults in this other lifetime. Apparently, they were in different wars in a like, senior home. Like you know what I mean? Like just old people <laughs> fighting each other. Like that would have been so <laughs> off the wall. It would it would have been a lot more interesting, and there's some good shots in here. There's some really cool and interesting shots. There's the one where he, in the span of a second, animes and deflects like four bullets mm-hmm. of uh of uh, uh of well, of Chiwoto Edgy for his oh, okay. fucking uh infinite deleter shotgun uh-huh. dethroner. The Is dethroner. Would they, they yeah. call that? Yeah, yeah that's what that's they, what they called. called it. And they and then I paid I attention this movie twice, and I don't remember that at all. Yeah, that was I not got you. That was in one of the sequences where he's like, "Oh, your your boyfriend got dethroned." Yeah, because like, and then he was like, "Remember there's, there's metal so plate much shit that hasn't." There's like I know there's more shit that's just not in this movie, and that I'm more interested in everything that's not in this, but. I'm just going to wrap it up because I've been talking for hours. You have. I, I was actually about to stop because I'm looking at it and it's like, yo, we are not an hour in. No, that's the hour marker. We're about 22 minutes in and I've been talking for almost all of them exclusively. <laughs> I did like this movie and I was very entertained in this movie. The only time I wasn't really in this movie was when you moved off of the couch, <laughs> which is a good testament to this movie. I was sutured in. Apparently, I didn't like what I was watching, according to the people that were Man, watching with vocally, me. Vocally, I, I would think you would hate this shit. Like, I, I thought you'd be worse off. In fact, though you've given like very good critiques and criticisms about this movie, stuff that I truly do understand, I thought you were going to go worse. Like, man, this was boring. Like, I thought, I, I that's how it kind of like... I was like, ready for I'm, it. I'm let down a lot by these moments, but this is apparently a Paramount, Paramount Plus original. Mm-hmm. So... I, I'm not. I'm my my expectations aren't really that high. Which wasn't going to be at first, and then I guess just out of nowhere, Paramount was just like, "Yeah, we need to put something on the streaming service. Put it on here. Put put it on." Because I, I I I skimmed an article where it's like Mark Warburg is not happy about that. He's like, "Wait, what? Y'all put my movie out, bro? You put my movie out on Paramount Plus? <laughs> no theater release, bro." My mother can't come see it. Like, he's you, know what I mean? you can go Aww. to your mama's house, Mark. Aww. Your mama no. can come to your house, Mark. Well, fucking look like a chump. <laughs> you think he has Paramount Plus? <laughs> Bitch, probably I am not. Paramount. <laughs> he probably has a free subscription or something. I am, bro. I'm Paramount, bro. <laughs> Why is he super pro? Have you heard Mark Wahlberg talk? <laughs> For real, if there's any <laughs> SNL skit you need to see, go see the one where he's like going after Andy Sandberg for doing an impression of him. And it's literally just him the whole skit. Like, Andy, why'd you do that impression of me, bro? 
<laughs> I didn't like it. Then somebody else comes up. He's like, yo, Josh Brolin, you were real good. Say hi to your mother for me. Like, it's, it's <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, you've shown me that one. Have I shown you, you that showed one? You've me that yeah. one. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. But like, I didn't have, like, a previous reference from Mark Wahlberg. But now I kind of have a little bit of it, so I can kind of watch it again. Super, bro. All right, I'm done. I'm ha- I had enough of you talking. I had enough of you talking. <laughs> Sharon. Yes. Thoughts. All right. So I, as you said that you noticed, I really, really, truly loved this movie. I thought it was great. I do agree with you that at some parts it did feel very fast paced, but also at the same time, I'm not going to lie. There was so much happening. I didn't really give a shit. If on all honesty, Mm -hmm. like I thought it was great. Um, the cast, like y'all, I think you said something earlier, like there was a talk of like Mark Wahlberg not having that role or something, Hmm? or I might've been reading it on the computer screen. I don't know. (laughs) I can't see anyone else playing that character, hmm. honestly. In my brain, he just played it so well. Like I can't like take him out of the role and put someone in it, okay. and it have it like still feel the same. If that makes sense, like mm-hmm. I don't think I can do that with anyone in the cast. I feel like they were like perfectly chosen for like the things they were able to bring to the roles that they had. Like even the ones that didn't talk that much. Oh, uh-huh. who plays Nora? Because I could have, I could have switched her out with any, any, anybody. Oh, Chris Evans uh-huh. was in talks to be in this film. Yeah, that would like been I can't see him being in that in this movie. I just can't. I can't picture it. I, I could see, I could see Chris Evans. I could, I could, I, I can't. Could see this. I, could see Chris Evans. <laughs> I could definitely see him in this. Also, to be fair, I mix up all the Chris's, so I might just be picturing the wrong I one. I can honestly see any Chris. <laughs> he was in Knives Out. He's Captain America. I realize that, but like. Oh. Well, we, you all said of the Chris's, them up. We I do, you. but like it doesn't matter because in my brain they're always gonna be jumbled. <laughs> right, well, never mind, fuck it. Um, I'm sorry. I can see any of the Chris's doing this. <laughs> Chris Pine would have played this like pretty boringly, right? Yeah, definitely. Chris Hemsworth would have played this like Jim Bro, right? Whereas Mark Warburg is like dude, bro. Chris Hemsworth is like, well, I, I lift forty hours a week. I have my whey protein in the morning. See, <laughs> I think with that Find with that one, mm-hmm. he would have been playing the Henrik Treadway. Like he would have had Dylan O'Brien's part. I would have liked to see Dylan O'Brien playing uh Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg's <laughs> role. And yeah, have, have somebody else play him You know what? In the beginning. I can back that. Like you know? that's fine. That's acceptable. As Yeah. Remake this movie, please. Like, no, don't do that. Hold on. <laughs> no, no, look, we don't need a reboot already. Y'all had it. Y'all had your chance. <laughs> Everybody gets one. One. I'll also say I really liked that. Um, the older guy that had that got crossbowed to the hands. Yeah. I really liked him. I know he was like a very small bit role, but he was such a perfect little character. Speaking of another person that played in a Captain America movie, that dude plays Zemo in uh, really yeah in uh, First Avenger. Holy crap. Which is interesting that they're about to get Chris Evans on this thing. <laughs> Holy and crap. That he's it. That's, that's pretty cool. That would have been pretty cool. I really liked his character in this movie. Like, no, he was, was sassy. Good. And I was like, yes. Literally, I think one of the biggest things about this, like, when I was, when Shaquille was talking, he was talking about, like, all the fast pace. And I was mm-hmm. like, you can take out some of the action film, action parts. It's because I really like a lot of parts with Chihuahua Edgyifer. Yeah. yeah. And I think the scene with that guy and Chihuahua Edgyifer. So good best scene in the movie to me yeah like, best scene in the movie to me where bathers is just giving this like soliloquy about why he is angry and it's just it's almost it almost feels like today's internet petty angry it's like <laughs> it really does like every, he's about to open up his phone and go to twitter for yes that's a whole tweet <laughs> that was a, he, he subtweeted humanity <laughs> like he's just like, the, like it's, uh, or make every, it a reddit thread or something. everyone's need to be validated everyone needs likes <laughs> and to be verified <laughs> on twitter <laughs> Like that's his whole ass like complaint about the world. My favorite like line of that is that, <laughs> and and it kind of because all other dude starts yelling over top of him, so you gotta gotta listen to to, to hear him say it. But it's like they hum, humanity is an obituary in a dying newspaper in the house of an old cat lady. Like, like, yeah. you hear that? like I'm sitting here like that was such a flawless so line. <laughs> it was so specific. I like was that was like, petty on top of petty on top of petty. Give this man Chihuahua an award 
for this do ass it. movie. Like, him <laughs> an award for this. This movie don't deserve no awards. Nah. Give Toronto Edgy for best actor for this. Because yeah. anybody that can sell that line, you want to talk about With a seriousness. Roast. Like, With just seriousness. Such a stoic expression. Like, Toronto. Wow. You're that dude, bro. It you did that. Amazing. I Chawada was so great in this movie. I, I don't mean to step on you. Oh, you're good. I, I literally, you just, you got me on a roll like talking about Chawada <laughs> because this man plays such a good villain in this. I'm mad he's Baron Mordo in Stop Doctor Strange. I want to see this man play Doctor Doom. I want to see this play, man play Magneto. I need Chawada to be in big bad roles, not side bad roles. I need this man to show out on the screen and be there for multiple, multiple, multiple. I need this man to be a threat. Anybody play Doom wouldn't play better than Chihuahua. <laughs> Saying it right now. That's my that's my fan casting. That was it. I'm sorry. You're Back good. To what you were I saying. agree. Like Wow. Just they were so so good. Mm-hmm. Like and there was chemistry like mm-hmm. built even in like those small scenes where we got to actually see some stuff blossom. Mm-hmm. It's just I love it when movies can do that and just like instinctively like pull you back in when they feel like you might be starting to drift mm-hmm. because of like the fast pacedness and everything. And this movie did that so well. Like I know I glanced at my phone at least once, like at least when I moved from the couch to the floor or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I only glanced at my phone to like move it out of the way. Mm. <laughs> Because I didn't want to be distracted from the epicness that was happening in front of us on the screen. Okay. Like, to me, this movie is A+. Plus. Okay. Like, this movie was great. Okay. I might just be, like, running on fumes you of, like, are, lack of sleep. You, your but adrenaline is high right now because of this movie. <laughs> and I'm, actually, I'm glad like, for you for that. So like, I'm glad good. I was able to do that for you. Because that, that's what a movie should do. It should literally put you in the driver's seat. You were right there with Jason Masuka's. You were right there like, with the artist. And like, Did you see that? You, and Sharon's right there. Like, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, do it again. <laughs> um, I got to say, and I'm just, I'm back on it again. Back on Macho Walter. Like he, because, because, like, no, you're right. Because he had such chemistry with, with all everybody. The every single It didn't matter how small of a role they were. It didn't even matter if they talked. Yep. No. Like, it was just the body language. <laughs> it was, it's just, when he was waving them dudes, I was like, that's, oh. <laughs> no, the was, feelings that he had with it wasn't those even that. When, guys. When he looked at, when that chick walked by and he just looked at her. Amazing. And that camera moved a little bit. Amazing. I was sitting here like, award winning. Award winning. <laughs> Award winning. <laughs> Award winning. Chiwoto Edgerfer. <laughs> for head nod. Like Chiwoto Edgerfer. <laughs> Every fucking award we have this fucking Every what? Main, like, was it main actor? Uh, 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 guest actor, whatever. Every uh, every actor, best supporting Chiwoto actor. actor. There it like, is, best supporting Chihuahua. <laughs> Are we really gonna diminish him by calling him a supporting actor, though? No, for this no, movie? no. He got no, he, he got the every, best actor. He got role. best actor. Then he got supporting. <laughs> then he got score. He got best VFX. He got score. <laughs> Chihuahua and Jennifer in every category. <laughs> high key bang. How, how did you? How did you enter the score category? <laughs> oh, you know, I just put in the note, and it just like, worked. and they just they did just it. used everything from that one. <laughs> Who note. you think was singing "Real Legends Never Die"? That was your <laughs> That was your water on the track, bro. Like, what you mean? You know, I fell in love with them when they had, and this I'm glad because this was in the trailer, mm-hmm. the the interrogation scene, basically. Oh yeah, and it was just. Ooh. I was like, all right. I'm Every in. time you say, I don't know, a, this trigger gets pulled. Bah! I'm just sitting here <laughs> like, I don't know how. Like, I've seen this movie twice. I've seen the trailer a million times. Yeah. like the way they use the song and shit. But that interrogation scene still gets me. Every time like, he's like, Ch-ch-ch. and Mark, I think, honestly, like, honestly, Chihuahua brought out Mark Wahlberg's before. <laughs> like, yeah, he did. Was it? Yeah, That's did. true. Chihuahua, Mark Wahlberg, because he just, he's just Marky Mark to me, man. No matter, I can't take him seriously no matter what movie he's in. <laughs> just because he's got that Boston, and, and it's SNL's fault. It's just, yeah, every time I hear, SNL. how's your mother in them? <laughs> Say hi to your mother for me. Like, that's all I hear from Marky Mark. Like, but to waddle add him in the scene, it just like elevates him as an actor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does. It, it, it was it was great, and I love that that scene was as long as it was. Mm-hmm. Oh, it you really to got be. to sit down with them. It really it really does introduce you to the conflict mm-hmm. that's to come in a very mm-hmm. great way. 
Now, I will say this. I do think this movie is a better Assassin's Creed movie than Assassin's Creed was. Yikes. Now, that's not saying much because that Assassin's Creed movie I, was garbage. I, I heard they didn't even really go to the past. In they did like movie. three scenes of, of it in the past. It was not. When, when Assassin's Creed is almost all in the past. But I'm I'm not. I didn't watch the movie. I, ain't, I had no desire to. It's bad. I that. saw it in theaters. Yeah. I, remember <laughs> was, we I think it was like Ooh. me and Kelvin in that theater. By it was like two people. Me and him. Yeah. Only other time that happened was like one of the Hunger Games and maybe get on up. Y'all need to see get on up. What's wrong with y'all? Anyway, uh, that reminded me. Y'all, y'all dirty my boy Chadwick. Anyway, um, but no, uh, I I could I definitely could tell when I was watching this the first time. This is based off of something, mm-hmm. and seeing that is based off of this book. I checked into the book a little bit. It is nowhere near like this isn't like a one to one adaptation or anything at all. Okay. So I feel like this is more like the book is more about these people and they're they're they living this life or whatever and there might be some action to it but not like to this level so it seems like they took the bare bones of that plot of the book Mm -hmm. and used it and then stuffed just stuffed a bunch of action sequences into this thing and that's probably my biggest problem with this that's because i think right i think the script and like you said the lore the concept is very strong Mm-hmm. Mostly because of Chiwoto Edgy for bringing it out. But, <laughs> Chiwoto but, Edgy for screenwriter. Screenwriter! Screenwriter! Chiwoto Edgy for Best bro. screenplay. Wow. <laughs> Director Chiwoto Edgy. Because <laughs> this is Anton Fuqua. This is. This is uh, I, I know I've heard that name. This is Training Day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This don't feel like Training Day, do it? Mm. I will say, I think, mm. I think Anton Fuqua is a really good character director. I think he's yeah. a act. I think he's a good actor director. I I will not discredit uh, discredit him there. You know, really, really good, really strong direction, and he always does it with like the people who, if they're not the antagonist, feel like the antagonist. Mm-hmm. So like, I feel like, hmm, Marvel need to get him as a co director on something with the next whatever the next big villain is. They need to just have him be there. The I next, the, who's the next Thanos? You I know? think he needs to go back to like dramatic, more dramatic films because he he directed Suicide Squad. Really? The, yeah. Uh, the one with Will Smith. Uh huh. Oh, okay, I ain't seeing it. And while some of the character performances there are good, the whole movie is, you can throw the whole movie out, honestly. And it's mostly the Will Smith show, Margot Robbie show, and others. But <laughs> there were others in there. There, if you, you blink and you miss them. Um, <laughs> Suicide Squad, du- Suicide Duo. Damn it! But I think it's, right. it's okay. I was swallowing. <laughs> <laughs> I beat a beat a beat. That's all, folks. Uh, <laughs> but no, I think I think he I think he is a good actor director, but mm-hmm. not really like a good story director. At least not. I think these high concept films are outside of his realm of expertise. I haven't liked the high concept film that I've seen from him yet. So I think he needs to go back to almost low budget dramas to mm-hmm. me because Training Day is still just like. That movie is Tops. up. Yeah. That's a that's an S tier movie right there. Yeah. So I think like all in all, I have to give this me myself a C. Like just a high ass, high ass middle grade C. Both high and middle. That's how <laughs> that's how I feel about this one. Cause, cause honestly, like I, the action sequences were were dope, but at a certain point it was just like eh. Also, the the there's a weird thing, and it's just like a side note, but I, I keep coming back to it, but I keep almost forgetting it. And the weird thing about their, their, these infinites is that they all reincarnate in the same gender. It seems weird to me. Yeah, I was actually to gonna say something like that. I was like, okay, excuse me. I'll be like, okay, it'd be interesting if uh, old girl and old dude was it Nora, Nora and Abel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be like I was like, okay, are they gonna? Because I feel like in the trailer they even had like Mark Wahlberg was like. A little girl or something in a past life, and, no, and, and they had it in the they, are you sure you didn't yeah. have that? In like one it wasn't one? in the trailer. Uh, yeah. uh, the, 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 no. the fucking uh, the, uh, shit. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> it's okay. uh, I was not. I was gonna say collage, and I'm like, that's montage. Not fuck. Montage. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, hmm. Maybe I just imagined it because I would have been more interesting. Um, but I'm like, okay, they meet up at the 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 source or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, and they're both the same gender. It's like, okay, do this. This is interesting. It will subvert a lot of people's expectations. Mm-hmm. Do it. No, no. They're, you're you're the same person, but you always go in. 
And I think the thing that got yeah. that that brought that question up to me was when Bathurst goes into the hub and he's talking to Chick in the chair, and they're talking about being old loves and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And it, and it brought to my my, my questions like, are they always the same? They seem to always be the same. Freaking Treadway is the same gender three freaking times in a row. Mm-hmm. Nor and Abel just seem to be the same gender. Both of their re- reincarnate. Like what? Really? I mean, it's that's boring. Like it's, that it's, seems it's, it's, it is boring. That seems like such a neutral. Like you could literally safe. be anybody. Yeah, you could be. You you're just a soul put in a body, and you just remember that you used to have a different body and you slept right. before. Like it doesn't really matter. Like that seems like such a like like a conservative. Thought, like I'd expect this in 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 this movie in the nineties. Now, yeah, I'd expect this to be like totally different. Like this, it seems like uh, you're dated. Like you, it feels a little dated. Feels, like this it doesn't... feels out of place. Yeah, and it definitely raised the question. Like it definitely, and it's a question you shouldn't have raised when you're watching it or when you're thinking about it, really. So that's a that's a that's not a big slight, but it's no, definitely something that is, is noticeable, right? And I'm just like, mm, not only did you miss an opportunity, but now you have me questioning. So now I need to go back to the source material, right? And like, that's, I, and that's I another bet money. I bet money. Else. Exactly. And the source material is different. It has yep. to be. There's just no way. There's no. It's. It, there's no way. I don't think you gave your grade. I didn't. You, a, you, yeah. you cut me off before <laughs> I could do it, and I was going to come back to it, but then you raised an interesting point. This movie gets a B for me mm-hmm. because I did enjoy my time and this movie made me interested in where it came from and that's I feel like it's going to be more interesting than the movie which should be a slide against the movie but it's something because I'm trying to read more mm-hmm. that is good because it would point me towards an actual novel. Mm-hmm. Um, it was... Some good performances. The, the The problem is that the central cast is kind of weak. Yeah. It's just weak. And it's just twirl edgy for trying to bring some life into this shit. Well, they're literally there. Like, speaking of them, speaking of the others, the, the Scooby and the gang, they're <laughs> literally there and then they die. Yeah. That's, yeah. That Chiwoto is amazing. I mean, Bathurst is amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, as uh, then, just... then there was Chick. Who I think she was the one who was training all the recruits or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. She, she got sniped. She showed she was an amazing trainer, but in the field, she dies. <laughs> so, so what's like all she, that training for? Like got <laughs> shot. Didn't really. I feel like maybe it was. It might have been dark, but I don't even know where she got shot. It looked like she got shot in the same place. Trailway. Yeah. Everyone yeah. gets shot at. In the, yeah, and in everyone's in the injuries. Are, everyone's. Uh, it's like that Injuries was the only on the special right effect side. that they could afford. Well, it's because you can keep it hidden easier. I mean, they can go to the other side. Oh, it ain't I all got to be the same side. It was the same side. Like, he, <laughs> you know, he cut himself open, put it over there, got shot in right the same there. spot. Her probably died in the same spot. Like, it's yeah. it's, it's a little ridiculous. And I feel like when uh, Nora was fighting that Russian chick, I feel like she was Russian. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she might have stabbed, stabbed her there. like two or three times, and that's fine. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> and then I feel like she got another discrepancy in that spot. That. I, I get no argument for me. <laughs> maybe it was on the other side. Maybe maybe Nora is the only one who has an injury on the other side. But I think it might have been right here because she twisted it and everything. Mm. She got stabbed a lot. She, to be she, fair, she did get stabbed a lot. But yeah, I had that to change my grade to a B minus <laughs> because I thought of some more stuff, and I'm just like <laughs> too many injuries to I, the same side. It's just like it's just like mm, I feel like my grade's <laughs> a little too high. I feel like it's a little too high for for what we have here. I don't know. I watch this thing twice, and my grade has stayed the same yeah. both times. Also, I really like the ending. I like the ending. Yeah, I, do, I don't I know do why. Like I really like the ending with Young Treadway mm. and the artisan coming back. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sword. You forgot your sword. Oh, that's <laughs> that ain't sword. mine. As is, or is it? What took that you so took long? You so like I want to watch. The, I want to watch through the. Eight. This would have made a better TV series. Yeah, I think yeah. it would have been more interesting stretched out over time. Like it's man. That's always where I'm leaning to. If it is high concept, big budget is better as a TV series. That's kind of where I'm leaning to right now. Yeah, this was only a hundred and six minutes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And yet it still felt like it felt long. Yeah. <laughs> it felt long, but they went so damn fast. 
Wow, man, I might change this shit to a C plus. You got me fucked up a little bit. <laughs> All right, people. Well, you know where we stand with this. Let's see what the people thought. Now, this was Paramount Plus original. Now, fancy. <laughs> So we ain't got no budgets. We ain't got no box office. So we're going to go to that Rotten Tomatoes and with its tomato meter of 16% and an audience score of 38%. It seems like our thoughts and our feelings are either reflected or somebody is a little too high over there. I'm telling y'all right now. I don't know why you're looking over here. Popular opinions. <laughs> Look, all I'm I'll give hot is takes all day. Too high. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's score is in this, and there's too. It's too high. Apparently, this shit was trash. Apparently, and everyone hated this. Uh, and I think part of that could have been, uh, if I have to give an explanation, is that it's Paramount Plus. Yeah, yeah there's not enough people. Not yeah, a lot of people have, have Paramount Plus. Also, the fact that they put this, they release the first trailer and the final trailer within the same week of the Ooh. movie's release. <laughs> So that's not good. Movie. They, they don't have time to, you know. Oof. So that kind of hurts, and I think that comes from a last minute, split second decision to release this on your streaming platform. Mm -hmm. You probably shouldn't do that. You should probably at least you know give people more time to think about it. Plus, build up anticipation. Maybe when did this come out? Uh, June, June tenth. Okay, I was about to say because. A lot of people, I feel like now, only have Paramount Plus for literally those three episodes of iCarly. No, they, no, 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 sorry, no. Star Trek. Paramount Plus is where Star Trek Discovery is, oh. Star Trek Lower Decks, uh, it's where the Twilight Zone, uh, the, the Jordan Peele Twilight Zone uh, came out. Well, it was, sorry, it was CBS All Access, and then it became Paramount oh, Plus. It turned okay. into Paramount Plus recently. Yeah, and then it has like Carly. Paramount Plus until <laughs> like Carly exploded, and now all I'm hearing about yeah. is Paramount Plus, and I'm just like, okay, Same. I feel like that's where a lot of people are, or at least why a lot of people are subscribing now. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Nah, man, that no, nah, you you should have seen all, especially Discovery. Discovery's been popping off. It's been popping off so hard that I've been wanting to watch it. Oh, uh, Discovery Plus. No, no, Star Trek. the Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> Jesus. I, was, I mean, yo, low key, I wouldn't be surprised if Discovery had their own fucking streaming service at this point. I think Discovery Plus. Discovery is a Plus thing. is yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah, a I thing. have I'm access to it. <laughs> I'm not paying for all these. This is cable again. But you gotta see the two, the 4K tiger no. eat the 4K <laughs> rabbit, bro. No. Let you eat. I will buy a fucking Planet Earth. <laughs> With Carl Sagan, <laughs> with Carl Sagan, <laughs> like, I, I will buy Sagan. Planet Earth, and I will buy something directed or voiced by Morgan Freeman talking about nature. Ah. Wait, well, isn't sure there some like that Planet that Earth or Plus. National Geographic stuff on Disney Plus? Mm -hmm. Might Probably. be National Geographic. If they own it, then uh, it, it's like, up there. Disney's you in highly, everything. Highly overestimate the amount I care about animals. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I my bad what, I, I am, and disney you can fight me on this i'm using a friend's disney plus and all i've been watching is old disney cartoon not cartoons tv shows that i never even heard of there's a fucking <laughs> out here summer vacation and school yeah that's no, that's no, no bro i'm watching that living maddie dog hey. you know the living maddie <laughs> i'm watching that living maddie girl I'm only I've only seen a couple episodes of that, but I like what I've seen. Oh snap! I ain't know everybody. <laughs> I've been sitting here straight binging it. <laughs> Living Maddie train. Let's Living go. Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> this oh god! This. Yikes! <laughs> All right, people. That's it from us. See you later. Peace. You are an infinite. You've lived and died a thousand times. Thank you for listening to another Movie Club podcast, Production 1200's premiere podcast. If you have suggestions for movies you want us to see, leave them in the comments below. Check out the short films we have on the page and look forward to what we're making next. If you want more from us or other ways to reach us, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all Production 1200. If you're listening to us on iTunes, please give us a five-star rate and review. Trust me, it's what your grandma would have wanted. And if you listen to us on other podcast platforms, do the same if you're able to do those things. It's Trady Price signing off. Hear you next time.